Okay, Louise, The Adventures of a Chicken, we're on part three. This is the conclusion. So chapter three, Louise, The Adventures of a Chicken. Last week she joined the circus. Let's see what happens today. Chapter three, Louise Unbound. But Louise continued to long for adventure. She left the hen house and journeyed to a land far away where she discovered a fabulous bazaar. Louise strolled the length of the market, admiring the plump tomatoes and the green asparagus, the winking jewelry and the colorful cloth. The vendors called out greetings to her and Louise nodded politely in return. Inside a dusty purple tent, she held out her wing to a fortune teller who examined the feathers clo closely and said, in a heavily accented voice, Hmm, yes, I see much adventure. I see the crossing of the seas, the walking of the wires. Also, I see a dark stranger. There's the fortune teller. Louise didn't think much of this fortune, but she nodded her thanks and left the tent, where she immediately met a tall, dark stranger who swept her off her feet and shook her very hard. The man yelled at her. Louise couldn't understand what he was saying, but it was obvious that he was quite angry. Her heart began to beat fast in her feathered breast. The man carried Louise away by her feet. Here at last was true adventure. Here's the dark stranger. Back here, there he is, carrying her by her feet. He put her in a cage that was full of other chickens and locked the cage tight. Louise was being held against her will. She was a prisoner. The other chickens did not seem to be aware of the injustice. Louise tried to rally them. Chickens do not belong in cages, she told them. They looked at her. Chickens must roam free, she said. But the other chickens turned away from her. Louise twisted her head out between the wires and examined the lock. And then she set to work picking it. Above her, the sun burned high in the sky. As she worked, it slowly began its descent. So there she is in the cage. You can see how worried she is. And here she is picking the lock, trying to escape. Finally, at dusk, Louise's patient work paid off, and the lock fell open with his creaky sigh. We are free, said Louise to the other chickens. The news appeared to stun them. Free, said Louise again. She hopped to the ground and gestured to them to follow her. One by one, the other chickens left the cage. An old mud-colored hen pecked at the hard-packed earth and gave a tentative cluck of pleasure. Two gray hens gazed up at the twilight sky in wonder. Looking at them, Louise felt a wave of longing. She missed suddenly her sister hens. She missed the hen house. She wanted to go home. And so she headed west, back to the farm. How does she get there? She's riding a camel, a ship, and a hot air balloon. At the end of her long journey, Monique was there waiting for her. She said, oh, Louise, where have you been? And Louise looked at Monique and said, I will tell you. What's different about Louise and the other chickens? Do you know see anything different? And she did. The hens gathered around. They trembled as Louise told them of her adventure on the high seas. They murmured in alarm as she described the lion. 
they clucked in disapproval when they heard of the imprisoned chickens. As they listened, their hearts beat fast, fast within their feathered breasts. They said, oh heavens, Louise. They said, my goodness, Louise. They said, what true adventures you have had, Louise. Yes, said Louise, I have. And when she was done with the telling, she settled down in her nest and tucked her beak beneath her wing. Her sister hens did the same. Outside the hen house it began to rain, and inside the hen house, safe and warm, all the chickens slept the deep and dreamless and peaceful sleep of true adventurers. The End And that was Louise, The Adventures of a Chicken. Bye, guys.